Alright, see. Okay. Welcome back to Is It Wrong? To check up girls in a dungeon. Anime review, episode number 36. This is reviewing the 51st episode of this series, which is called... If I can find it here, here we go. Daphne Alonros Friend. Yep, that's the name of the episode. This episode is still adapted from book 14. It adapted from chapter number 7. Or adapted from pages... Actually, let's see. Here we go. Uh, it started with... Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, here we go. It started page 65, 65. And they went straight to 97. They basically covered roughly this much... And also, like, a little bit after that, like, a little bit of chapter 10. 10, they covered roughly seven pages of this chapter. Yeah, seven. Basically, we up to here. So, this is how much you get for the entire book that's adapted for this episode. Yep, so, the episode starts out with Lou in a flashback. She meets her friend Aisha from the, it's not Ishtar, it's the... Uh, What's the name of her guild that she was part of? Let's see. Um, because there was a particular guild she was part of prior to Vincent Series. They say it was like five years prior to Vincent Series. It's not Ishtar. It's a particular guild that's not around anymore. I have to look it up here. Sorry about this. Sorry, this is going to take a bit. Because uh, Luz, I know she's part of some guild. It's not Ishtar. It's not Freya. It's some guild. Let's see if I can find the name of it. Come on. I know you can do it. Thank you. Astrea. Okay. Yeah, she was part of the Astrea Familia. And this this basically is sort of continuing the and the person she's talking about is Aisha Level. And basically when she appeared in episode fourteen, which actually was this very episode, this was her anime debut. She makes she actually made her debut. Excuse <laughs> me. Yeah, and ah, oh, that's better. Yes, so this character actually made her debut back in the Lou Light novel, the real Light novel. That's basically where she made it for his parents, and they can sort of introduce each other when when you have Lou first arriving at the at, at the at the at the familia, and then we come back to present day where she wakes up and she has to take a bunch of skull sheep like a uh, first two and then the last one taken by bell who woke up from his five minute nap she apologized for not being a good lookout but i was like it's fine and of course she goes to sleep and of course it's bell's job to basically look after her and then we get a little bit more of the flashback for her where it's basically she's like dozing off at a meeting and she's like exploring her memories and that is it 
what I just described, that is roughly about three or four minutes of the anime, because a good chunk of this anime, this episode here, is focused on Bell's group. Minus, well, well, Bell himself. Where they continue to take on the dragon. Mikito is actually alive. Those, hey, you don't worry, they're still fine. So, basically, it's a big, humongous battle taking on this one dragon. And it takes several spells from... Basically, a lot of the scene itself is pretty accurate to how the original sword was presented. And after they, they basically beat this two-headed dragon, then the floor starts collapsing. Well, the ceiling does, anyways. And we see Turk and his group, where they try to go to, to, to like the 24th floor. And, of course, Cassandra's like... And, of course, there's also a ton to go to the 26th floor, which I believe that's where Bell is current. I think he's on the 27th floor. I'm saying he's like a full floor, but... Um, so, and mostly everybody except for, like, I think it was Aisha and Daphne basically not convinced to go to the tunnel. They want to go to the 24th floor. But Cassandra convinces him otherwise. And, of course, she doesn't care about her visions. The fact that she believe, want her to believe in her. And, of course, they all agree finally after some agreement. After This is, of course, after the big among us battle they have with the, with the two-headed dragon monster. They go into the tunnel and everybody miraculously survives. Now, Himeno and Mikito could not walk. So, we have the big guy. Let's see, we have, what is his name here? Okido. Okia. Yeah. yeah, he ends up carrying Mikito. And, of course... You have Himeno... Hikima, where she's carried by, of course, or, well, uh, carried by Aisha. Yes, so they carry her out of the tunnel, and of course, they you have Daphne get hugged by Cassandra. And of course, we're probably just, like, totally believe in her, and that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, excellent episode. Still enjoying this series so far. And you might be asking, Nick, is there a dub yet for this particular season yet? Has it been released? I'm going to find out right now. Let's see. The answer is yes. The first half of the season is all dubbed. The first half of it is. First 11 episodes are dubbed. Now, we are roughly only three episodes into, basically, the second curve of the season. With three in, we have... Well, we had roughly 11 left anyway, so... We're now down to eight more to go. And then the season's done. Yeah, just eight more to go. And that's simply it for this one. And then pretty much in the way, Sunday basically reduced from half about five to maybe... Uh, <clears throat> maybe I think if I finish up... Do I think if I finish at the same time as... Don't Tell Me as Nagaro? Possibly, yes. It's a possibility that it might finish it probably a week after that one. Probably. It depends on how long the season is. Yep. But that's going to be pretty much it for the of you. Next up is going to be Trigon Stampede. Yes. This one. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this looks like. Because I've seen zero trailers this one. All as I know is that Johnny and Bosch is back for it. Which I'm looking forward to. Okay. Next video. Bye.